The Venture Resolve 19 has just been released and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the new AI tracking system both in Fusion and in the color page. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So like I said, the new AI tracking system was just released and some people might be confused on how to use it. Well, the first thing that you guys need to do is make sure that you guys have DaVinci Resolve Studio 19. If you just have the regular DaVinci Resolve 19, it's not going to work version, but I installed the regular version, which is the free version. The free version doesn't come with this new stuff, which I don't think so. Maybe it does, but not the AI tracking system, the uh, IntelliTrack, that's what it's called. So that's only requirement. Make sure to have the DaVinci Resolve Studio 19 and we could try the new IntelliTrack. So let's try the IntelliTracker in the color page. So it's very easy. We want to go to the color uh, page down here and we want to go to our tracker. Once you are in that, you want to click on FX and on Point Tracker changes to IntelliTrack. Now, our main objective is going to track this vehicle right here. So let's place it. And all we have to do is just click track forward and reverse. So that's what, that's what we're actually gonna do. And as you can see, if we go back and forth, they actually did a really good job. I actually enjoy this new AI tracking system because it's very quick. As you can see, a five second clip took what? Like two, three seconds to do. And it did a very good job. Now let's go into the fusion. Now right here we have our fusion page. Mine looks like this, so don't worry about it. Is if we go to median one and if we click shift space, we could uh, look for tracker. Now we click on add and automatically it's gonna say IntelliTrack one. So the AI tracking system, it's already integrated into fusion. So you don't even have to mess with regular IntelliTrack or point system. This does it for you. Now, the best options for these is you want to go ahead and select your object, which is going to be this vehicle on adaptive mode. You want to select every frame. Every frame is going to be the best or you could click on best match, but I like every frame because it actually goes frame by frame. Next on path center, click on track center, append. Next, you wanna click on operations. Right here, you could do whatever you want. You could click on match move, corner position, or perspective position. On match position, you could only track the background if you want, or the background and the object. So just go ahead and mess with these settings and you'll be all right. So if we go back to trackers, the IntelliTrack is right here, right? We don't even have to click anything. The only thing we have to do is just click on track. So this one does take a little bit more time, but like I said, it does a very good job. Oops, now track backwards as well. I didn't go back and forth, so that's my bad. But like I said, this does take a little bit more time, but it it's even more amazing. Render complete, so in a matter of seconds, you already have tracked your object and like I said, it did a phenomenal of a job. Now you might be saying, gotcha, what's the difference between in the color page and in the fusion page? The color page looks way more easier and it's very simple. The fusion page, it looks too much work and it did pretty much the same job. I personally like the fusion page because if you want to add layers to this, you could. For example, if you want to search, if we want to add like a callout, right here we have a toco callout. We could link it up to our tracker and we could add a transform uh, node, transform. So we could go ahead and move it, uh, something like this. So we could put car, racing car, snow drift. Let's just call it that made by Gacho Films. Let's go ahead and edit the text color to blue and like this. So if we do it in the fusion, as you can see, it's way easier and it does a very good job. The color page is a little bit more different. I have really never gotten used to doing this in the color page. I don't think you could even do it. Maybe you could, I might be wrong, 
but in the future page you have more flexibility and if you really want to improve on your editing skills try learning the fusion page and there you go you guys got a bonus you guys got to see the new ai tracking system in teletrack in both color page and fusion and you guys also learned how to add a callout text to track a object so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did don't forget to please subscribe and hit the button and see you guys later take this